Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM in the first of four nights this month with movies made by our star of the month, Ava Gardner. We'll be doing this each Thursday night in December with the exception of the Thursday before Christmas. Tonight's lineup is made up of movies from the late 1940s, pictures Ava made after her star-making role in the 1946 film noir, The Killers. Up next, Ava returns to film noir three years after The Killers. This one's from 1949, The Bribe. Though MGM produced the picture and the studio had more resources and star power than any other in Hollywood in the late 1940s, film noir was largely uncharted territory for MGM. They made pretty, not gritty. Ava Gardner was one of the few principals involved with the production who had any real noir experience. Director Robert Z. Leonard was a senior contract director at the studio, known for his lavish costume dramas, soap operas, and musicals, including the 1940 version of Pride and Prejudice and 1941's Ziegfeld Girl. The script came from Marguerite Roberts, who was one of MGM's top screenwriters, but did not have a track record for writing dark crime dramas. MGM, though, didn't flinch. They were MGM, for crying out loud. They gave the bribe, the studio varnish, a big budget, and a cast full of stars, including Ava Gardner, Robert Taylor, Charles Lawton, Vincent Price, and John Hodiak. Taylor plays a federal agent sent to a small Central American island to investigate a racketeering ring. Once he's on the case, he's tempted by a beautiful femme fatale to cross over to the dark side. The femme fatale, this won't surprise you, is played by Ava Gardner. This was the first of three films the Gardner made with Robert Taylor, and during this production, their steamy on-screen affair continued after the cameras stopped rolling. As Gardner put it in her memoir, my main job was to take one quick look at Mr. Taylor and fall into his arms. This time, it not only happened on screen, it happened for real. I offer absolutely no judgment here. I'm just pointing out that Taylor was married to Barbara Stanwyck at the time. At the time, he was having an affair with Ava Gardner, that is the kind of thing that will go to a man's head. From MGM in 1949, The Bribe. The Bribe was the first of three films to star Ava Gardner opposite Robert Taylor. They'd follow it up with Ride Vaquero and The Knights of the Round Table, both of those films released in 1953. On this 1949 production, the two also carried out an affair off screen. Gardner wrote about it in her memoir, Ava, My Story, published shortly after her death in 1990. There's no rhyme or reason about a love affair, she wrote. In those days, I was in constant proximity to some of the most handsome romantic figures on earth, and they didn't move me the slightest bit. I had to like a man one hell of a lot to let him disturb my sleep. And Bob Taylor surely fit the bill for me, and I did the same for Bob. Our love affair lasted three, maybe four months, a magical little interlude. As I mentioned before the film, Taylor was married at the time of their romance to Barbara Stanwyck. Ahead tonight, a melodrama released 10 months after The Bribe that stars Ava Gardner as the other woman in a love triangle that includes James Mason and Barbara Stanwyck. It's next on TCM.